My name is Mike Studer. I'm a physical therapist, satisfied customer and owner of a high work school. Most importantly, recently to me, uh, I'm a marathoner and triathlete. Six days ago, injured my hamstring at a recent race. Injured it pretty severely, mile seven and a half out of a 15K run. And uh, it was on a Sunday. Monday, I really couldn't walk without pain. I was living pretty good, but tolerate pain enough to be able to walk through it. And Monday, I went straight to our pool, Hydroworks uh, underwater treadmill, and I was able to run on Monday at five miles an hour with my hands on the bars. Take my hands off, it's a little challenging for the hamstring, but I was able to keep up my conditioning. On Tuesday, I ran six miles an hour, went for another about 40, 50 minutes, and I was able to take my hands off for the most part. Still couldn't run outside, way too painful to run our treadmill on land base. On Wednesday, I was able to run at six and a half miles an hour for an hour, hands off, jet resistance on, got a good workout, good conditioning, staying on plan with my marathon training, and uh, I still was unable to run on a land-based treadmill or outside on land because of pain at that time. Totally pain-free Tuesday and Wednesday running with some pretty good intensity climbing. Uh, Thursday morning I was able to run outside 10 miles, no problem, right back on schedule. It's real important to me to be able to stay on schedule because I'm going to run at the minimum 70 miles a week usually 80 to 90 miles a week to stay on training plan for an upcoming marathon. So psychologically and physiologically to not lose any conditioning while I'm training through an injury, extremely important to me. So I love my high to work school, I always will. And uh, even beyond this one incidence of injury, I use it on a pretty regular basis to be able to complement my marathon training plan. I suggest you would too.